Ich habe mir das nicht Mama, so ein Sitz, wo sie hingeweiht und du da. Alle ja. Ja, natürlich. Aber, aber ja, das sieht sie da aus. Ich habe mich nicht This really feels like we made the biggest mistake of our lives, but I don't know how to handle this. We thought we were doing good, but you never know what's gonna happen, and now we're in this fucking shitty mess. I hate it. picked up a phone call from the owner to one of the guys at Dwarsleer that the cat would be astray after a week and now we've come here to Deinze to help and look for her because she doesn't really have anything familiar at the new house and we hope that by making familiar sounds that we can find her and hopefully get her back to a good destination. This is like looking for a needle in a haystack. So we are currently going through uh, the bits of nature that we can find around the living area of Gregory because she's not too fond of uh, the busy neighborhoods. Mostly she redraws to nature. We really hope that she isn't too far that we can still find her. She is chipped so if anybody of you are living in Deinze and you see her just let us know or go to the vet or you can read the chip for free at the vet so if you see her we've been out searching all night without any results tomorrow we're going back to Deinze to go and look for uh, any signs of the cat we also shared it on social media to see if the people, the local people can help us out and hopefully we can still find her. We left our phone number and she's also chipped so we should be able to locate her but she's very shy of people and not very comfortable around people so yeah we're hesitating, we're afraid that nobody will be able to catch her to uh, yeah read out her chip or something like that so hopefully tomorrow for the better. All right, search party day part two. We already got a message from somebody who might have seen her back in the street where she got lost. So today we're going back there to verify if we can find her in the street and let's hope she's not that far away. Uh, yesterday we spotted another little piece of forest right next to the neighborhood here. So we're gonna go out there and hopefully we get some more tips. We also shared a video online to yeah, uh, uh, make the locals aware that the cat is astray. And hopefully we get some useful tips from uh, the local area here. So let's hope for the best. We're just yeah, going around all the places that we can think of where she can hide out. Because in the daytime she mostly hides out and in the nighttime she cruises. But you can't go shouting in the streets in the night time How does it feel to work in a jungle? <laughs> Are you eating again? <laughs> I'm getting hungry from working in the jungle. We're currently on our way to the supermarket. Maybe you picked it up in the news, but the whole French part of Belgium has flooded because of a big storm and the local town here uh, where we are staying is uh, yeah they're gonna organize and uh, a truck that's gonna go there with all kinds of foods and stuff because people actually lost everything the water was up to the roof people were on their roof shouting for help so uh, yeah we're gonna do whatever we can do and go and pick up some stuff to send out to uh, the French part of Belgium so that these people have some stuff to live with because 
because it, it's really the worst we've seen ever in Belgium, I guess, in my lifetime. Ja. So anything we can do will be a great help for these people. And I'm glad I can help. I'm really glad I can help. Fingers crossed everything's going to be okay. Freeway has changed into a river. That's Belgium for you. So in the meantime, it is weekend. We are back in Deense. We're uh, gonna stay here for the weekend to see if uh, the cat would recognize our van or maybe our scent. Uh, we will also look around if we can get any tips on where she was last seen. But it's already a few days, so that's uh, kind of worrying. We kind of feel very bad about the situation because we really wanted to get her into a good house and now she's a stray and it's kind of eating me from the inside out. I can't really focus on my job currently. So this weekend we're gonna give it a last attempt to try and find her and otherwise we're probably ha gonna have to depend on her chip or on any tips from the local area because yeah, you can shove your work aside for a week but we still have to make a living, so it's, uh, yeah, hopefully we find her in these two days. And we really hope that the chip does his work and that someone eventually will contact us about putting hat. No success on our current search. We both kind of feel empty while walking around, which kind of could mean that she's not around anymore because it just feels different than the last days. And we kind of don't know what to do now. Stay here or go back to uh, Mala, to the place where she was a bit familiar. Probably we'll do that because if she's on the run, that might be her first stop. And we definitely want to be there if she passes by so that might be the next move but this really breaks my heart this is the like we've been working towards socializing her and getting her accustomed to people and situations again but we didn't yeah, want it to end like this way it kind of feels like it was the last time that we saw her and that freaking hurts real bad <laughs> 